What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing this Shape shoulder bag. Um, and I, I got it on Amazon for about half of the price of it normally is for retail. And let me say, this is like probably one of the best purchases I've made this year. It is the most versatile and just a great camera bag. And I never would have thought I would have liked camera bags until I bought this. And I might end up getting another one, um, even if I have to pay for full retail price. Um, but this is just such a great bag. It has so many different pockets and I'm gonna walk you through how I have it set up and what I think of it. So as you can see, this is a pretty large bag. Um, it has a lot of different pockets on the outside. It's very modular. Um, I counted and it has about 11 different compartments um, for you to use, um, including this large one and some other stuff on the inside. So on the outside, as you can see, we have two pockets up on the front. Uh, one little small skinny one up here, and then we have one larger one um, that is holding another bag that came with it. Um, I did not expect this bag coming into when I bought this, um, but I just have some cables in there right now, and I think back here I have just some microfiber cloths and other things. So I'm really glad this actually came with it because I've been looking into getting some sort of a bag to just put some random things in there. Um, I also usually put my charger in here for my camera. So this has been very useful as well. So along with that small little bag that came with it, um, a bunch of these other different modular pieces. Um, these actually come off, uh, they're Velcroed on, and uh, I did not realize how, how many different things it was gonna come with. So there's a bunch of different extra pockets in here, right here, it's got pockets here. I think I have just a microfiber cloth in this. Um, it has pen holders and all sorts of things that you can use this for. A ton more pen holders over here. Um, but I really like that you can also take this off if you don't need it. Um, it's super easy to take off, um, very useful. There's also some pockets back here that this one doesn't have anything in it right now, but this side, I have some extension cables, just in case, because you never know when you're gonna need extension cables. This bag also has a little cup holder for your drink, just in case you need something to get you through the day. Um, I'm very, I'm very glad this is actually on there because I usually bring some water on set um, whenever I'm shooting. So um, there's also a pretty decent sized compartment back here. There's nothing really in it. It is a little slim, but you can fit some some paperwork or something in there um, if you need to. So let's take a look at the large compartment right here. So as you can see, there's also a top um, organizer, a lid organizer. Um, I'm actually glad this came with one because uh, the top, the lid organizer for my uh, actual case um, is about like 150 bucks, um, and this case itself was about 170, and it came with one. So I was like, all right, cool, I got one. So yeah, in here we have quite a bit of different things that I've been able to put in here. Um, I'm very glad of how spacious this is. Um, it's not insanely massive, but it can fit quite a bit of things um, that you would need on set. Um, and this has also saved me a ton of trips um, going back and forth to the car uh, when loading and unloading. So as you can see, I have some headphones in here. Just the easily grab. I also have an entire audio bag, which has all of my, my microphone, recorder, XLR cable, stuff like that. This is a pretty decent sized bag. So this fitting in there, that was pretty clutch. I also am able to hold my Amaran. 60D light in here in this little bag. So that's pretty neat. Um, it has all the different cables I need um, and it fits easily in this case with my gimbal. So this is my gimbal case and then the this is the ring that goes around it um, for more stability and also so I can mount things on it because shooting with a black magic battery sucks. Now I can mount the battery on top of here and plug it into the camera um, without interfering the weight of the Black Magic because that was a huge problem I was having. It was too top heavy um, and really, really weird to balance. So this bag is really, really big. Um, on the inside, you can put just about anything you would need um, that you normally would carry separately. Um, it even has Velcro on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, um, but you can attach these guys um, in here um, if you wanted to do that. Um, I did that at first, but then it kind of restricted my space um, and I couldn't fit these two in there. Um, but that was really important that I was able to get some bigger components in here. Um, and one of the main reasons I got this bag was for my gimbal. And I'm really glad that um, one, this stuff will fit in here easily. So that was a big plus as well. 
So I think the quality of this bag is really, really good. Um, it's not cheap. Um, this was used like new as well, so it wasn't like completely beaten to death. The box was pretty rough, but um, I'm just glad the bag was good. Uh, so I was, I was just really surprised at how many things that came with this and how amazing it is. Um, just to just put random things that, you know, you wouldn't really think you would need it for, but once you start putting stuff in here and you're like, wow, this just saved me like three different trips back to the car. Um, and it, it's just about making your, your setup and tear down as efficient as possible. Um, and this has really helped with that. And I'm thinking about getting a second one for my actual camera so that let's say I just want to get to a shoot real quick, ha already have my camera set up in the bag, pull it out, put it on a tripod and we're ready to go. Um, or just pull it out and start shooting, um, either one. And it's just a really good solid bag to use for just about anything you would need. <laughs> Okay, I literally just realized this, but these straps have little lights on them. I had no idea. That's genius. Because now, you know, if you need to see something in there and it's dark, you kind of light. I did not know that. Okay. That's, that's pretty cool. So, there's just so many cool little quirky things about this that just make it so much better than you would think. Um, and I, was, I really liked hard cases because I was afraid that, you know, if I'm moving gear around, it's really going to, like, damage it. But... This is pretty, although it's soft, it's still pretty solid. It's not really crazy. And if you pack it tight, I mean, stuff isn't really going to move anywhere, um, which is good. So I guess the, the sides are a little, a little soft, but the front and the back, they're pretty solid. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of really cool things about this. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. I'll put a link in the description um, if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, I'm not sure if they're actually selling new stuff but you can definitely get it used or used like new like I did. And it came pretty fast and I was, I was really excited with this when this came in. The strap on this also is really nice. It has their, their logo on it. I really like this logo, I don't know why. It's just very nice, minimal, just this shape. Um, but it's got like this little grippy padding and it's really soft. This is, when you put stuff in this, this can become a very, very heavy bag. Um, so I'm glad they, they added this because this is a lot more comfortable than some other duffel bags that I've used before. Um, so this is a really nice touch that they added. This bag is definitely one of the best purchases I've made this year. And I truly would recommend that anybody looking for some new camera bags, camera um, cases, um, look into this first. And I'll make sure I put a link in the description, like I said. Um, and let me know what you guys think of it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.